Scorpio, Happy New Year's Eve to you. Today we're going to take a look at the Aces for 2024. Any new opportunities that are headed our way, including those we create for ourselves. But do keep in mind those Aces can represent renewed energy. In other words, opportunities we already have in play. Opportunities that we already put our time, energy, and effort into, and we renew them ideally because they're working for us. So I should see a little bit of both. Ongoing opportunities, and what are they looking like? How are they shaping up? And then also new, new. We're going to start with the Ace of Swords, Truths, Insights that you are prepared to accept at the beginning of the year. More often than not, Ace of Swords is where I see things like New Year's resolutions. Let's see that Ace of Swords, please. Not always, but often. Let's see that Ace of Swords, please. Show me the Ace of Swords. Let's see that Ace of Swords, please. Oh, excuse me. What's going on, please, for the Ace of Swords? Page of Pentacles. Oh, the Knights of Cups. And the Six of Cups. Oh, beautiful. I don't know which way is going where. I don't, let me put that, let me kick that off straight away. I honestly don't know. I just see your reception is, is that I'm willing to put something into this. And it starts small. It's almost shy. Um, it is shy. There's a shyness surrounding this. I can't quite see it. And there's... Uh, a component of vulnerability here. You know, there's a six of cups. Okay, so there's a soul bond connection here. It automatically kind of denotes the past. You have a very sharp vision of this, Ace of Swords. So it's a truth that's hitting your radar. Your response is Page of Pentacles. So you're saying, I will put something of myself into this for the sake of the connection. Now, it's, 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 like I said, it's a little shy. It's, it's coming across as a tentative, but nevertheless, the willingness. To try and um, I I don't know whose night that is but the six of cups here kind of throws off the sense of direction so I don't know who is extending themselves to the other I just know that in the process of that extension the night's gonna is going somewhere and it's being authorized by somebody so that's somebody's expression there of emotion and vulnerability from like i said a soul bond so as we know the six of cups is that kind of soul bond energy soul mate soul tribe whatever you want to call it okay it's the energy exchange that happens without us choosing it without having the words to describe it it's just a feeling it's unique that's probably the best way to describe it it's a unique exchange it's supposed to be um that that that's how it leaves an imprint, is its uniqueness. Okay. Um, you know, we have we have fond memories with this person, this connection. Fond memories, shared memories, shared cups, literally. Okay. And that uniqueness of, I know you, in my own way, in our own way. We're not like other people or we're not like our friends. This is us. All I know is that I just see that response is Page of Pentacles coming from you. I will put something of myself into this. You've made the determination. You've thought about it, and then you made a determination. Um, there's something here about the vulnerability that perhaps is a little disarming. I don't know. There's a softness and vulnerability, like I said. I just don't know whose side it's coming from. I honestly don't know. But you will. And I know the Page of Pentacles doesn't seem like much, but that kind of depends on the origin of it, doesn't it? You know? So it's, a lot of great things have come or have been born out of pages. Why the response is small, I don't know. But that kind of tells me there's a certain level of timidity there in responding towards it. Okay. Not knowing what to give this, but wanting to try. That's what I mean by that. Like I said, there's some shyness around this one. But it's soft and it's sweet. Okay? And it kicks off the new year immediately. <laughs> so <laughs> it may not be tomorrow. It could be. I don't know. But um, it's not very far out either. You made up your mind regardless of what your response is. So you are responding to it. All right, let's see the Ace of Wands. Any new sources of passion, light to path, inspiration, hope? Let's see the Ace of Wands, please, for Scorpio. Page 
Knight of Wands, Six of Pentacles. There it is again. Yeah, there's no way you don't know who this is. There's just no way. There's just no fucking way you don't know who this is. Excuse me. I'm just, I'm tired. <laughs> I've had a beautiful long day, but I'm tired. As you can, I'm not even done. Okay, this is, by the way, what I'm dressed, this is called efficiency. I've got a dinner slash New Year's Eve party tonight. <laughs> and I'm like, if it's good enough for real life, it's good enough for camera. <laughs> so <laughs> I just doubled up. But uh, so I, I was just like, you know what? It is what it is. It is what it is, Scorpio. It, it either resonates or it doesn't. I'm not backtracking this one. It looks calm. It looks peaceful. Uh, it, I'm seeing a simple six and six balance on both sides and a page and page in terms of response. So there is an equal sense of engagement and shyness and I'm willing to open up towards this and I'm willing to rethink it. I'm, I'm willing to try. And I'm seeing that again on both sides. Now here's the thing, here's what's interesting. I went from a Knight of Cup, which is a singular energetic influence from the six or from you, and then it becomes a, a two-person response. So as we Ace of Wands, you're showing me renewal over something that it's looking like you're re-engaging with. I don't know who this is to you, but you are both, two people are here, are showing me re-engagement. And it's tentative on both sides. You're both showing me pages, you're both showing me a six and six, but whereas one person was showing me that I'm willing to open up and be vulnerable, okay, it has now become a two-part system. So the more we balance with this, the more we remain open towards it, no matter how shy or small or unsure. The pages often have small approaches because the owner who is deploying them, that would be you and this person, are nervous, timid, uncertain, and that's normal. Okay? So it's like, I'm not trying to put too much out there too soon. I don't want to dismiss it. I don't want to turn it away. But I don't know how much of myself to give to this. So can we both agree to keep it small until we know what the hell we're doing? And, and that's just at the energetic level. <laughs> that's just at the energetic level. Okay? How it comes out in 3D is that you and I seem to be in agreement. We, we have more similarities than we do differences, clearly. Okay? You both have a similar goal orientation towards the connection, and that's to balance it appropriately. I only have one marker that's different between the two of you. One person in this dynamic kicks it off with some sincere vulnerability in terms of emotional expression. And then after that, it becomes a two-part system. <laughs> So, but with the same connection in mind, okay? I, I don't know who bears the Knight of Cups, but I do know it's enough. You two are starting to connect in the real world enough that we're feeling safe to express same page emotions, okay? And the constructive effort. It's kind of like saying, this, this feels good to me. Does this feel good to you? Uh, yeah, it feels good to me. I'm glad to hear it feels good to you. That was important to me, too. Should we both continue to try to stay open towards this? And you have both more or less said yes. So it's not just the passion here, the intrigue, but the hope I'm seeing. Okay, You're not the first person to show me renewed hope over a pre-existing or older construct. This happens all the time, and one of the reasons why I wish people understood aces better. Okay? It's not just new. It's renew. Some renews we know. We keep engaging in it year after year. That's what anniversaries are. And then there's the renewal that we didn't know was going to happen until we're in it. <laughs> so <laughs> that's kind of where you're falling in with this person, which means by definition, they didn't know until they were in it either. I just know that somebody here had the cojones to open up, to say something vulnerable in respect to this connection. And then you both become in agreement. This feels good to me. Does this feel good to you? Do you like where this is going? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Okay. Should we keep going? Yeah. Okay. You can shoot the messenger. That's cool. It's such a cliche, but okay. I don't. It, it looks sweet to me. It looks sweet to me. I mean, I, if it was asshole energy, I tell you. You know, talk about not wanting to waste time today. I wouldn't want to waste your time. It looks sweet. I, I'm not gonna lie. It feels balanced. It looks balanced. I'd say yes. If I was in your position, I'd say yes. That's me, though. 
that's me. That's me. You would know this situation. I, I, I just don't know when you last connected with it. I really don't know. It does feel a little faded, and I'm not going back in the past. I'm looking at 2024. You would know best. So if your first thought of this person is negative, then it's probably not that person. This is someone who would rather give a shot with, even if it's in the form of a page, than nothing at all. I don't know else how to explain it. Okay. Don't dismiss the pages. We only get in trouble with pages is when we put too much weight on them. This is not too much weight at all. It's balanced on both sides. So those pages are carrying the appropriate amount of weight. Okay? That's that's it. All right. Ace of Pentacles. Any new opportunities, please? Four Scorpio. 3D um, opportunities such as career, work, opportunities, gifts. Let's see that Ace of Pentacles, please. Let's see that Ace of Pentacles. The Knights of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, the Chariot. That's something that's already in play. Uh, an excellent example of anniversary type renewal energy. In other words, you already have a pre-existing Ace of Pentacles and it does very well for you. I'm not surprised. I've been seeing that Scorpio for months, half a year, nine months, more. You're well on your way to creating your legacy. Again, that's what I've been seeing for you. I know there's a lot of Scorpios like, that's not me. I'm still struggling. I'm sorry, but I'm also not sorry. Did it occur to you this could be your future if you keep at it? You know, I don't want anybody to struggle. So I'm actually happy to not see struggle for somebody financially or otherwise in their material world. That makes me very happy. Um, the Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, the Chariot. You have a plan. You're sticking to it. That Knight of Pentacles is not in a rush because you said that your finances and your foundation, as you understand it, are on course and you're not looking to change that course. So it's full speed ahead at your own particular pace. Literally, Chariot and the Knight of Pentacles with the Ten of Pentacles in between. Your foundation is well on its way to active, full-bodied, sexy development. You know this. You're pleased with it. Full steam ahead. Nothing's breaking your stride on that one, <laughs> and we don't want it to. So the foundation we must remember, for those who are still new to tarot, I have to remind myself of that. Ten of Pentacles is the tree of life. It's the roots that touch many, many things. It goes well beyond one's personal home and finances. It's everything. It's career. It's job. It's industry. It's community. It's family. It's friends. That. Everything. The connectivity of it all. How you touch everything, everyday life. How you contribute to it and how it gives back to you. That is the comprehensive exchange. Okay, uh, many of us can take a whole lifetime to build a foundation, or for some of us it takes a couple of years, doesn't matter. The point is, it's yours, and you built it on a plan with the Knights of Pentacles to take your time to put it down pentacle by pentacle, and the chariot, it's at a particular pace. You don't want it to stop. Right? There's no stopping that train, as I often say, so well done. Um, you're looking at financial independence and respect of community and all that stuff. It's a good job. All right. Yeah. So in other words, no new job needed. <laughs> you're fine. That's, it's, it, that's on course and we want it to stay that way. Okay. So for those of you, it could be future oriented. If your Knight of Pentacles has just started in this way, just started building those blueprints and just started putting down the initial prints for that foundation, then that could be your future. Terrors isn't always what we think it is. All right. Ace of Cups. I'm not doing time checks today. If I get an impression of time, I get an impression of time, but that's it. Ace of Cups, please. Ace of Cups, please. Some of the Ace of Cups, please. Ten of Cups. Two of Swords, Two of Cups, reflecting back on this. Two of Cups. Okay. Okay, you're reflecting back on this Two of Cups. And while you two are balancing, it looks beautiful. It does. Okay. You have a question in your heart. And it's a reasonable question. Ten of Cups. Okay. The emotional comprehensiveness. Family orientation the direct emotional intimacy of our inner circle, okay? Mom, dad, brother, sis, cousins, 
kids, spouses, all that. Again, emotional comprehension. You don't know if that Two of Cups can lead in that particular direction. There's a question mark on this. You don't know if they're family oriented. You don't know if this person is in it for the long haul, the long term emotional game, which isn't the game at all. If you're both aimed for the Ten of Cups, you can't lose. You want to know if this could lose. Okay. You don't seem to understand exactly what their emotional game is or what their emotional orientation is. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but you don't seem to have any clear answers on it. So what you want to know in your heart of hearts, in the heart of your Scorpio heart, which is literally for us the Ace of Cups. This person who's marked as the Two of Cups, you share an emotional intimacy with. Are they a bigger picture? You don't know. And you're not going to have an answer to that right away. It's kind of like saying, what I feel for them independently is my thing. That's my choice. You're saying, my love for this person is a choice. I chose to balance with them. I chose to re-engage with them. I, I, I chose to in interact with them in some way that suggests you and I can balance. So that was my choice. But take them out of my personal choice. Could they possibly fit into a bigger picture? You don't know. And it's a perfectly good question. But that's going to need more time to unfold before you have an answer. And it's not a huge pressing question for you. Not right now. It's there in the back of your heart, literally in the back of your heart. It's one thing when that person means something to me. And I emotionally harmonize with them and that we're on the same page. They're just the two of us. But can they fit into a greater scheme of things? Because guess what? I'm a Scorpio that's family oriented. And P.S. I have a foundation. At some point, it's going to have to cross that bridge if this is going to mean something greater. Well, when it's time to cross that bridge, it's time to cross that bridge. Okay? I'm not saying it's not an unreasonable question, but I think it's too early to understand it. You know? I don't know. It seems to be enough for now, and hopefully it is enough for now, to re-engage with this, to understand that you two at least are on the same page with each other. So give it more time to understand if it's going to unfold into something greater, because I know that you have something greater in mind. Of course you do. Look at you. You know. That will reveal itself in time. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, if they're not, if they can't unfold into the greater scheme of things, such as the Ten of Cups, you'll know sooner rather than later anyway. You know? You'll have to take it from there. They could do. They might have the same goals and objectives for, you know, emotional continuity, the rainbow system. I don't know. But not all questions, you know, can be answered right away. The question's in your heart. Whatever it is, it's a reflection of your self-worth. If you can find love for yourself in this connection, then it's worth connecting with or reconnecting with. But if you think this connection is a reflection, a poor reflection of self-worth, then you have your answer. The Scorpio I'm looking at, you choose to interpret this connection as... It is part of my self-worth to engage with this. Okay? Everything comes down to self-worth. Don't lose sight of that. Destined. Somebody here is destined to understand their sense of self-worth at the emotional level. This is not you. Change. Somebody had to have the courage to change. It was just my first impression that it was not you. I don't know why that hit so strong, but it did. Somebody here had the courage to change. That's coming across in such a strong way. I'm going to hold it up to you. And if there's anything in the image that speaks to you, you will know. I, it's, it's, not sharp, it's, it's not straightforward to me at all. 
Somebody here had the courage to change. Huh. Manifesting the courage to change. To open up. That Knight of Cups is coming from somewhere. Somebody. Okay. Scorpio honey. Well, your Ace of Pentacles was clear. Actually, so was your Ace of Swords and your Ace of Wands. I don't always like doing the backstory, the past orientation stuff. It pretty much speaks for itself. I'm sure there's reasons and explanations and stuff. There always is. When it comes to this connection in 2024, take it as it is. It either feels right to both people, no matter how tentative or shy. I don't care about that. It either feels right or it doesn't. Take it from there. Trust yourself. Know your self-worth. Never lose sight of that. So while that's an appropriate question, it's just not an appropriate question right away. But it will be a reflection of your self-worth in time. If you need something that means something greater or more comprehensive, then you have to take the decision from there. Okay, just not right away. Um, I do believe this other person is tasked, or believe they are tasked with the courage to change. But that's just the impression I had. Okay. I hope this helped you. Put in the comments as you see fit. Take care. Be well.